So I am caffeinated, so I thought this would be the best time to make this video, <laughs> or it's gonna be the worst time. Um, oh, hi. Uh, I have not posted on this channel in quite some time, and the videos that were prior to this were all filmed on my phone vertically. <laughs> so here I am using my iPhone um, filming horizontally, and I just wanted to come on here and say that um, my husband and I are on an amazing journey right now. And that journey is one that we really didn't think would ever happen to us, honestly, and especially me. Um, and what that journey is, is one into tech. Now, if you know me and I've sent you here or you've seen the previous gardening videos, um, you know that, you know, I, I love plants, I love cooking, um, I love homesteading. Uh, I am, you know, I was a vegan cook, a vegan pastry chef for quite some time. Um, probably, I would say that's my main career, about 10 years. <laughs> um, and, you know, working at multiple vegan restaurants um, here in Nashville, Tennessee. And um, the last couple of years being a vegan pastry chef um, at one particular restaurant and then working at a plant nursery the last couple months, but um, that's neither here nor there. Uh, for the last nine months, <clears throat> I have been in a boot camp, an online boot camp, strictly online, um, for web development, um, software development, that sort of thing, and you know, learning different languages, HTML, uh, CSS, JavaScript, all that stuff. I won't go into it in too much detail. I'm not to bore y'all who you know are not in tech and whatnot. Um, that is not what this channel is going to be completely about. Um, I guess I'm making this because I really want to inspire people who were at the same spot that my husband and I were at, where we want to get out of the city. We have a home here in Nashville. And, um, you know, I was raised on 18 acres when I was little, and my husband was raised in Wisconsin, um, in a very, very small town. And we both are looking back. Um, we're both looking to get back to our, our roots, um, you know, and we're hoping to stay in the South, Southeast area. But, um, we were like, you know, how are we going to be able to do this? You know, we both had jobs where they were in person, um, you know, and very like hourly and physically both very demanding um, and a lot of mental energy that goes into it. And I know you all know what I'm talking about. You know, you at the end of your workday, especially if you are commuting in a busy city too, like you make your dinner and you pass out and there's not really too much energy to do anything else. And, you know, with me being in school and working up until very recently, uh, I, we didn't have time to garden this year and, you know, we, we accepted that and we moved on and, you know, I'm not dwelling on that whatsoever. And our, our goal is to have a, a small fall garden if we so wish. And I would love to make some plant start or grow some plant starts for my family and my friends. But, um, but yeah, getting back to my point and I do talk very whirlwind, <laughs> very just like all over the place. So that, um, if you are here to stay, probably we'll have to get used to. Um, but yeah, I, I'm making this to get to my point again. I'm making this because um, we didn't know how we were going to do it. We didn't know how we were going to get our future home. We didn't know how we were going to, um, we don't have yet, but we didn't know how we were going to make this work. You know, like I, I've never, I've never traveled. My husband hasn't traveled very much either um, in my entire life. I haven't done so many things that I wanted to do because I've always worked weekends. I've worked nights. I worked early mornings and, you know, just, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, you know, definitely suffering some health consequences because of it, because of, you know, high stress, cortisol, all that sort of stuff. So when we made the decision to both get into tech so that we could work remotely, so that we could homestead, um, it really opened our eyes to how many options are available to us for, for our life. You know, like, oh my gosh, if we work remotely, we can travel. If we work remotely, like, we can get up really early and garden, you know, a few hours there, like, you know, uh, you know, not, we, I'm about to say till, but we don't, it's like, we actually don't till, so not till the soil, um, but, you know, wood chip barriers and all that stuff. And, you know, do these things that really matter to us and, you know, canning and preserving our food and dehydrating and drying, you know, hanging and drying up herbs, like all of these things um, that you, that you see people really getting into now, which is wonderful. It's so exciting. And so, I guess I'm just making this, rounding out my point again, to encourage y'all to um, to really try and think outside your comfort zone and think outside the box 
if you do have this like huge dream that is not letting up and don't let it go away, you know, either like hold, you know, hold on to that. And I myself am in a very privileged position. Um, we do own our home. And so in doing so, like hopefully when we sell, um, you know, like I said, it, we're in Nashville, Tennessee. And if, if you've been listening to the news, you know, Nashville, um, you know, I was pretty much born and raised here and you know that it's blowing up <laughs> quickly. So, um, it's like, I don't think we'll have any, you know, knock on wood, but I don't think we'll have any too many problems selling hopefully. Um, but I just want to take y'all on that journey. Um, I know that there's so many gardening videos, there's so many tech videos, there's so many homesteading videos. And I personally was really struggling with like, oh, why should I even do this? You know, like, I don't, do I have anything to contribute? Um, and my husband was very encouraging and, you know, watching other YouTubers that I admire and other people on Instagram was like, you know what? Yeah, like, I'm just going to do this for myself and for others, obviously. But, um, you know, to those who, who may not know, um, how to start or where to start if your job is like oh you feel chained to a city or you feel chained like to um particular you know occupation or, or what have you like i'm only nine months in i have three months left of this boot camp um which provided scholarships as well and i feel like my entire life has changed it's one of the hardest things i've ever done but it has made it possible for me to make my dream a reality or it's it's becoming a reality and so um, that's just all I wanted to say in this intro video and that, you know, you're not alone in your dreams, um, whatever it is, like don't let someone put any, you know, confines on that. Um, you really, you, you don't, you have no idea until you start kind of like breaking out of your comfort zone, you have no idea how much can actually be available to you, especially when you reach out to your community um, and, you know, do the hard things. I am not... Um, especially when I say this before, you know, I end this video, like I'm not a techie person at all. I definitely, like I said, this has been one of the hardest things I've ever done and I, it does not come naturally to me. There's a lot of things that come naturally to me, like gardening and cooking. I mean, mind you, I've been doing them for years. And so I certainly was not the best at the beginning. Um, I was an anthropology major. I sang opera. I worked with dogs. Like I've, I've done, a, I've had a lot of hats, <laughs> um, but this does not come naturally to me. And I don't think it really does for most, for most humans. Um, and languages, you know, and tech are like always changing as well. So you always have to keep up to date. But um, really, if you kind of have a similar dream than uh, to us, um, I highly recommend looking into remote because there's people who are like, you know, you don't, you don't have to love your job. You don't have to be your job 100%. Like you, you know, some of the best advice like Rob and I were given too is like, find you a job that enables you to do the things you love. You know, you don't have to invest all of who you are into your job. Maybe one day, you know, but, um, but it doesn't have to be that, at least not now while you're growing and while you're trying to figure your stuff out. Um, but yeah, so you're not alone. And um, I have no idea what this channel is gonna become, but I'm excited for it because that means documenting our journey, which is gonna be an awkward one. Um, but awkward in, in the best sense, you know, uh, because we're becoming completely different people. We're sober, we don't go out, like we are committed to, to this lifestyle and committed to changing our paths as drastically as possible. And, and that comes with the discomfort. Um, so yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, it's a really nice day here in Nashville. It actually had a cool morning and um, Nala and I went on a W-A-L-K um, and it was really pleasant. Very cool for once. Yeah, it wasn't like 100 degrees at seven, but anyway, I'll see y'all next time and we'll see where this channel goes. <laughs>